Okay, let's try our hand on some problems. The first problem is like this. A particle is going around in a circular motion. Radius is supposed to unit. And velocity, suppose, is time dependent. Velocity is 4t and t here is time. So now, you very quickly, you have to find what is the tangential acceleration, what is the centripetal acceleration, and what is the total acceleration for this particle going in a circular motion of radius 2 unit and velocity is given by this relation. Okay, so sit with a pen and paper and very quickly we'll be solving some problems and as I give you the question, you have to solve them. Okay? Okay, now tangential acceleration as we know, AT is dv by dt, rate of change of velocity. dv by dt, if you do here, it will come out as 4. Right? So dv by dt, so tangential acceleration comes out as constant. 4 unit and suppose centripetal acceleration I'm asking you at t is equal to 1 second so centripetal acceleration as you must be mastered the formula as you uh, centripetal acceleration is v squared upon r now velocity at t is equal to 1 from this relation we can see that the velocity at t is equal to 1 is 4 so 16 upon 2 that would come out as 8 unit and total acceleration suppose at t is equal to 1 you have to find then total acceleration would be root over centripetal acceleration square plus tangential acceleration square right because they are perpendicular to each other so total acceleration will come out as 4 root 5 unit fine okay question number 2 Question number two is like this. A particle again is moving in a circular path. It is having a uniform circular motion. Radius is given as 10 centimeter. And it is given that the particle completes the circle. The time it takes to complete the circle is 4 seconds. So they are asking you what is the centripetal acceleration of this particle. Now it is moving with a uniform speed. So will there be any tangential acceleration? Now, tangential acceleration will be zero. So there will be only centripetal acceleration and you have to find centripetal acceleration. So the answer would be, and listen to it only if you have got one. 2.5 pi square centimeter per second square. This is the tangential acceleration. You can find the velocity. Velocity is the distance traveled upon time, the tangential velocity. Distance traveled in one time period in completing one circle is 2 pi r upon time. Okay, so it is 5 pi centimeter per second. This is the velocity and you know, centripetal acceleration is v square upon r. So no trouble in finding centripetal acceleration. Okay, so we are warming up. We are getting started with circular motion. Now I am going to give you some conceptual problems and you have to think and answer. Before that, let me give you one very easy trivial problem. Solve it orally. This is the point at which two particles start, let's say P and Q. And P goes anti-clockwise and Q goes clockwise. The velocity of P suppose is 0 0.7 meter per second and Q suppose is 1.5 meter per second. The radius suppose is given as 5 meter. So what will be the time it would take for P and Q to collide orally mind you? Tell me. The answer would be if you have done already t is equal to 14.3 seconds when they collide they'll complete one circle together the distance traveled by both of them the sum of them should be a 2 pi r they begin with the same point and whenever wherever they meet together the distance traveled will be equal to 2 pi r so the time taken suppose is t so 1.5 t is distance traveled by q plus 0 0.70 distance traveled by P should be equal to 2 pi R. 
and you know from here you can find t as 14.3 seconds easy okay i'm giving you some conceptual problems now so let's see the first problem is what is the average centripetal acceleration of a particle having a uniform circular motion in one complete circle so a particle is having a uniform circular motion so what is the average value of centripetal acceleration when the particle completes one revolution by the way this value of, okay your answer the answer is zero okay now centripetal acceleration is v square upon r and the direction of that is towards the center so at this point it is towards the center at the diametrical at the just opposite point it would be like this so they are going to cancel so at any point it is towards the center and for this point if you look at just opposite point then these two vectors are going to cancel each other so as it goes round and round in a circle if you add all these vectors their summation is going to come out as zero so the average centripetal acceleration is going to come out as zero good now when a particle is moving in a circle which with uniform speed then I'm giving you four options and then you have to choose the correct options velocity and acceleration both are constant the particle is moving in a circle it is having circular motion it is having uniform circular motion velocity tangential velocity and the speed is constant right so that is uniform circular motion so if it is having a uniform circular motion then I'm giving you four options V is constant but acceleration changes acceleration is constant but velocity changes and for the option acceleration and velocity both changes So tell me, which are the four, which out of these four options are correct options? If a particle is having a uniform circular motion, what, why it is uniform? Uniform because the speed is not changing. That, that's why uniform. None of the options has anything to talk about speed. They're talking about velocity and acceleration. Velocity is a vector quantity. Acceleration is also a vector quantity. Now their direction, they change when their direction change. Velocity, the direction is changing all the time. So velocity is not constant. Acceleration, its direction is also changing all the time. It is always towards the center. So acceleration is also not constant. Both acceleration and velocity are changing because their directions are changing. But are their magnitudes also changing? The velocity, it's a uniform circular motion. Speed is not changing. That means the magnitude of velocity is not changing. And acceleration, centripetal acceleration is omega square into r. r is not changing, omega is not changing because omega is v upon r. v is not changing, r is not changing. So omega v and r are not changing. So the magnitude of centripetal acceleration is also not changing. But it's a vector quantity and it's changing because the direction is changing. So option number four, I guess, was the right option. Okay, next problem. 